Hi, Dahlia. Oh. Hi, welcome to Calico Flower Studio. I'm Danny, and happy holidays to you wherever you are. Um, my plant here, Hank, is all lit up and festive for the occasion. So today's collage is all about the little things. So um, I hope that you're staying warm wherever you are and that you can cozy up on a couch next to someone you like, maybe with a hot cup of something, and uh, enjoy. My baby girl. Oh, my little fuzzy. Hi, hey, my little fuzzy. So today I'm going to use a specific set of material that I've set aside specifically because the pieces are all little. Whenever I make a collage, I keep the leftover scraps to use later on and I collect the tiniest scraps in this bowl here. I feel like these pieces, while they are very small, still hold a little bit of magic in history. That I find so interesting and endearing. So before I begin, I'm going to rearrange here. And then I need to find a page in my journal. This is a journal that I made with envelopes. I think I'll just work right here. Oh look, there's something, there's something written up here. Practicing being present with pain, use colors subconsciously. I love how working in a journal like this, sometimes whatever happens on different pages overflows into other pages. All right, so now I'll start by picking out a few pieces to work with here. Oh wow, this little piece feels like a little miniature painting in itself. <laughs> well, so neat. Another thing I love about working in this journal is that the pages are not entirely blank. The background is usually a color, and many times there are already shapes and compositional elements to work with, like the triangular shape of the envelope flaps. It's like having an imprimatura, as we'd call it in the art of painting, 
In painting, before rendering an image in paint, an artist might paint their entire background in one color first so that whatever they paint on top of that will be influenced by that background color. I think it helps to unify the tone of the lighting portrayed in the image. I personally like it because it's more exciting than working on a plain white background. <laughs> it's like, as soon as you start laying down your image, there are already exciting interactions happening from the get-go. So there are already background colors that I'm responding to here, like the blue and the pink. But there are also shapes here that I'm responding to, like the angular lines of the envelope flaps and seams. Usually when I use my little things, I don't like to cut them down even further. I just work with whatever shape they are already in. A lot of these pieces have straight edges and I and they can easily be placed in conversation with these angular cues that the envelopes are giving me. Working in a sketchbook like this is so relaxing because I'm not worried about what will happen to this collage when it's finished. I know that it's just for me and a bit for you too because you're here with me while I make it. I feel like this little piece just needs to be on display, like framed. <laughs> I want the line between the green and the pink parts of this piece to align with the pink envelope flap. So it kind of like disrupts the line of the envelope in an interesting way. And the pink sort of corresponds with the pink on the page. When I first started collecting the, the little tiny scraps that were left over from other projects. Um, I was really thinking about how matter uh, in the natural world, which I think that phrase is so funny, the natural world, as if I don't belong to the natural world or like none of these materials 
are a part of the natural world. But um, I guess, you know, what we think of as the natural world, how matter just breaks down almost infinitely and then recombines into new things. I remember I was watching a lot of documentaries about the universe (laughs) and like the solar system and, you know, just like the origins of our planet and how all planets kind of came to be and and all like celestial bodies and space came to be and that was just like all of these uh, different elements in the universe were flying around and colliding with each other randomly and then sticking together and out of that over billions of years become these super complex like objects in space and so I was thinking about like how my collage material over time gets broken down and then matter cycles and breaks down and and rearranges infinitely to create all of the diverse life with which we share this planet and so these little things when I use them to make new pieces it reminds me of how everything is sort of made up of all the same stuff or just arranged differently like carbon and water and iron and calcium and on and on and on and so if you look at multiple works of mine and you look closely you might even find materials that come from the same source you know like there are some things that i feel like i've used just on this channel several times you know just various pieces that have been cut off or broken off from the same thing and then they reappear in multiple new pieces later down the road. So it's like that whole concept of how energy is never lost. It's only transformed, (laughs) you know? So. I like how it feels like all the pieces are kind of growing out of the cracks of these envelopes. You know, like when you see little plants sprouting out of the cracks in the sidewalks. Life finds a way. All right, I think I'm going to leave the collage as it is now. I'm pretty satisfied. I don't want to overdo it. So now I'm just going to grab some pencils and add the finishing touches. Let me, I gotta swing my legs around here. Oh yeah, (laughs) check out my slippers and my socks. The holidays are coming up, so I have my Christmas cactus socks on. Covered in cat hair as always. When I'm sketching my little hash marks, I try to keep I try to keep it a little loose with variation in the quality of the marks. It's more interesting to me in that way. So it's not a bunch of marks that look exactly the same with the same length and you know, perfect straight lines, it just sort of sort of like scribbly and Some of them are thicker, longer, maybe not even a line, but just sort of a a mark. Well, I think I'm done with this for the day. It's pretty simple. I tried to take my own advice from the last collage I made and just made something without having any particular image in mind. And I'm very happy with the way it looks and the way it feels.
So thanks for joining me. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you're interested in using a journal like this one, then check out some of the journals I made in the Calico Flower Studio online store, which is linked in the description of this video. And finally, I hope that you find a moment today to appreciate the little things in life. Take good care, and I'll see you next time.